Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Tuesday, August 31st, 2021. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The police are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of Wilson Doerr of Bath Village. Doerr's body was found partially clothed in Bath Village at about 7.30 p.m. on Sunday, August 29th, 2021. The district medical officer arrived at the scene and pronounced him dead. An autopsy has been scheduled to determine the exact cause of death. Persons with information about this incident are urged to contact the Charlestown Police Station by dialing 469-5391, the nearest police station, or the crime hotline at 707. Investigations into the matter are ongoing. Nevis has recorded eight additional cases of COVID-19, bringing the island's total to 143. According to the Nevis COVID-19 situation report, as at August 30th, 2021, 22 cases have recovered and 121 cases remain active. Principal Education Officer Zanella Claxton is urging teachers in Nevis to continue to grow as they continue to navigate the unknown. Claxton made the remarks as she addressed teachers viewing the Ministry of Education's virtual back-to-school ceremony on Monday, August 30th. This year we are here, physically, at a venue, with hardly any of the seats filled addressing you, our colleagues, who are in your various spaces, logged in to the ceremony, cognizant of our reality. The reality of daily rising, the reality of the daily rise in positive cases, over 100 active cases, and the reopening of schools afoot. I do not doubt that our current situation was, has brought increased anxiety to all of you. As we know that, the school, that schools have the potential to be super spreaders. As expressed last week, the intention is to reopen schools physically. And we have been told that we have to learn to live with this virus. My advice to you is to take every precaution to protect yourselves, your families, and our nation's children. Schools in St. Kitts and Nevis are scheduled to reopen on Monday, September 6th. It is our mandate to serve our students, no matter the setting. And I do not doubt that you will continue to do so with distinction, both physically and virtually. While we have lost some staff members, it is a privilege to welcome some of our colleagues back to Nevis and the teaching profession. Ms. Antonia Mills, Mr. Joseph Williams, Mr. Kirk Franklin, Ms. Evelyn Nisbet returned from overseas, and Ms. Janicia Powell is returning after completing studies at CFBC. They will be joining, they will be rejoining the teaching fraternity. The 2021 back to school ceremony was held under the theme Education for the Future, Ready, Set, Go. Meantime, Principal Education Officer Zanella Claxton says schools in Nevis continue to prepare for the start of the new academic year. So September 6th is our start date. Uh, we will put information out in relation to each school and their specific uh, starting protocols. Some schools will have a rolling start and some schools will start in full on Monday. Uh, but in relation to our early childhood centers, we will start in full on September 6th. Our primary schools, um, we, as I said, we will put that information out as to who is expected to come out on the 6th and, and the rolling dates after that. And for our secondary schools, we will also put that information out and share with you and provide an update. But we wanted to ensure that parents are aware that we are expected we are ready for our start of the new school year on September 6th, 2021. This year, the Department of Education has introduced an initiative dubbed Meet the Teacher, which is taking place ahead of the reopening of schools. Uh, we know this week, we some of the most parents for our pre and primary schools have been called to be part of the Meet the Teacher activity. It is a thrust by the Department of Education to increase parental engagement, to help parents to see where, where students are currently academically after 
after some form or semblance of learning loss, we also know that it will give our teachers a meter stick, an idea of where our students are currently, so that they can know where to start. We do not expect perfection. Parents, it is not an exam. It's not pass, fail. So during the assessments, we just want to see the areas for improvement, where we can help your child and where we need to start. So this is a no pressure activity. It's supposed to be fun, an opportunity for you, the parents, to also interact with your child's teacher. And so we want to encourage you to come along, to bring your child, to be on time, to follow all of the protocols, um, to keep our children safe. It is by appointment only. So your school should have already contacted you. If they haven't, reach, reach out so that they can tell you when you're expected to be there, when is your appointed time. Please make, make, it, make it a date. Uh, don't be late. And ensure that you are there to be part of our Meet the Teacher Activity 2021. Principal Education Officer Zanella Claxton. Still to come. I did learn some of my history in terms of sugar making on the island and I'm, I'm sure the principals would have enjoyed that as well. The details after this break. I will take the vaccine because being vaccinated is the best way to beat the pandemic. I will take the vaccine to protect my family, citizens, residents and all visitors to Nevis. I will take the vaccine to protect myself, my loved ones, my clients my co-workers, my community. For more information or to get vaccinated, visit your nearest health center. Welcome back. Juan Williams, principal of the Charleston Secondary School and Nevis Sixth Form College, on behalf of fellow educators, has expressed gratitude to the Ministry of Education for an island tour, which was recently organized for the heads of public schools. The tour, ahead of the new school year, took principals, deputy principals, and supervisors to historical and other sites of interest on Nevis. First, I would like to thank the Ministry of Education for taking this initiative to have the principals on this tour. Uh, it is a very good gesture on the heels of a very demanding and difficult school term. And we are really rejuvenated on this trip. Um, as principals, as teachers, we take every opportunity to learn and it was a learning experience for me and I'm sure for most other principals here. And so we have enjoyed ourselves. We are grateful for this opportunity and we would like to thank the ministry again for the gesture. Junior Minister of Education, the Honorable Troy Lybird, who joined the tour at New River Estate, noted that the ministry was pleased to show its appreciation for the efforts of the educators during the trying circumstances during the last school year. You know that our principals, they have been working under rather adverse um, conditions for the past Almost two years now, with the introduction of the COVID virus, we've been under that pandemic for some time. And everything has been difficult because of that. And they've had to really go that extra mile. But they have been putting in the work. And we are very, very grateful for all of that. And so this is just an opportunity for the ministry to show them some thanks and to show how grateful we are. We know that all of Nevis certainly appreciates the work that they have been putting in. So I'm hopeful that the trip has been good so far and that the rest of it they would continue to enjoy and that we would have a, a very productive um, school year for 2021, 20, 2022. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Kevin Barrett, accompanied the teachers on the outing. We are here at the Heritage Village, but we would have been to places like Fort Charles, the Bad Stream, um, the Orchard for the um, Agriculture Department, and I think they enjoyed that one. We, we got smoothies, we saw all the different plants and fruit trees that were propagated there. And we are, we are, we are indeed having fun, I, I, I do think. We also visited the New, New River Estate, and I did learn some of my history in terms of sugar making on the island. And I'm, I'm sure the principals would have enjoyed that as well. We are indeed um, having a good time. The island tour took place on Friday, August 27th. 
The following is a notice from the Ministry of Education regarding the use of the school bus service. Parents and guardians of secondary school students are asked to take note that school bus registration for the 2021-2022 school year is now open. Parents and guardians can register online via Ministry of Education Nevis Facebook page or use the link on the screen to register their children by Thursday, September 2nd, 2021. Students who have used the service in the past year are asked to re-register using the online application form. For more information, call 469-5521 or send an email to education at niagov.com. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.